Well, good afternoon, everyone. Happy Saturday. I hope you're all having a good weekend. Uh, we are live again. We're in Los Cristianos this afternoon. I did say we were going somewhere new today, but uh, I did completely forget that there is a beer market on in Tenerife in uh, Los Cristianos today. Something a little bit different for us. It doesn't happen very often. Something new, a little bit different. I'm always into that. So we'll uh, head down to the beachfront, check that out, maybe try a couple of different beers. There's a couple of food stands as well, so we'll check that out and uh, check out the general weather, the general vibe. Overall, on the coast here, lovely and sunny. A little bit cloudy inland. I have just been to the airport and it was raining a little bit on the way. Uh, we're very busy at the airport. So I uh, do feel a bit of a change this week. We're getting a lot more new arrivals, a bit of a changeover going on. So I'm just starting here outside Buddy's Bar. I'm uh, just gonna show you exactly where it is because so many people do still keep asking where it is. And it was down in this, I've uh, just parked this one here anyway, so it worked out well. Uh, so there is where Buddy's Bar is, with the roof terrace up there as well. Uh, down to your right hand side, if you carried on down uh, the street, just past where the van is there on the end. Uh, just opposite there is the Mongolian restaurant. If you went round and to the left, that's where you've got the El Mirador strip, Taylor's Lounge, all of those. It's literally just around the corner from that little strip and next to the Fox restaurant is uh, where Buddy's is. Uh, but we're now going to head into town this way. Um, that's Tenerife Sayre, Christian Sayre Apartments. So this is uh, roughly where we are and loads of uh, street parking and stuff outside. So we're going to head down. Into, it's on the beachfront where this little uh, beer market is. It's only down here uh, on the coast. Lovely and warm as well. 26 degrees parking up there. So we're uh, pretty warm. Just been on the bus. Boy, oh boy, it was absolutely rammed. You couldn't move. Uh, oh, yeah. And then the guy next to me starts fiddling with a packet of weed and all that. Oh, it was one of the worst bus rides I've ever had to the airport, that was. <laughs> but we, uh, we made it. I got my car back and uh, here we are. So, apologies if anyone did go to tune in at quarter past four. I did have to delay it and change a few things around. Just up to the right there is Aguamar Hotel. Just giving you a few reference points. This little strip of bars and restaurants does well as well. Uh, the Paddocks, which is new, used to be Yolo's Bar. Just there. I'll show you the bus day as well. A lot of people ask about the buses. But yeah, main objective is to get down to the yeah, seafront, see this little beer stand thing. Anything new or different like that, I love. I think we need a few more different things like that. Every month, a little different pop up or a new little thing going on just keeps it exciting keeps it exciting uh, so how's it going everyone Cherie, Tracy, V, Brandon, Simon, Paul, Yvonne how's it going Tony, Esther, Kev, Margaret thank you very much for joining me hope you're all having a good Saturday Yeah, I've never been on a busier bus than that. It's absolutely rammed. <laughs> I nearly said, let me off. It was that busy, I, just, I felt like getting off. Really uncomfortable. How's it going, Suzanne? So yeah, super easy to get to the bar, especially if you've got the bus. You're literally just gonna walk straight down this road. The bus will drop you off down there and you'll walk straight along here and straight down to the bar. It's really easy, really easy. Evening, how's it going? Uh, we're over on Tuesday, can't wait. Fantastic. Good stuff. Harriet's over there. Afternoon, Jody. Love your updates. So reassuring. You're very welcome. Chris, thank you much. How far is your bar from Park La Paz Hotel? Oh, you'd be looking about 45 minute walk. Uh, or in a taxi, five euros in a taxi. And about five, ten minute ride. Not far in a taxi. Jump a taxi or jump on the bus. And yeah, uh, you're here in no time. What a lot of people like to do is, um, we get a lot of people coming down all the way from Costa Adaki, which is just amazing. And uh, they'll walk all the way to the bar. You know, they'll have a few little stops along the way and make a bit of a bit of a half a day out of it, make a bit of a day out of it. Walk along the coast and everything, make it to the bar, enjoy some drinks for a few hours, and then they'll get the bus or a taxi home. 
Yeah, which, that's how a lot of people are doing it. They'll walk all the way to the bar, have some drinks and a chill, and then they uh, get a taxi back or the bus back to Costa Radecki, Fania Bay, Las Americas. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. People come all from all far and wide. Here's the main bus station then. You can see how busy it is. Oh, bringing back nightmares of half an hour ago. <laughs> the Airport Express line is massive down there. So this is the main bus station. This is where you get dropped off or picked up if you were jumping on the public bus. Like I said, really easy to find the bar from there. You'd literally just jump off the bus and walk literally in a straight line down that road and it comes up on the left. Can't go wrong. Nice and easy. So just here, these are the two uh, local cafes, cafes we were using uh, every day. I go for a coffee about eight in the morning with uh, the staff, and uh, they were the two. Those were the two cafes we were using for a while. Um, those are the two. Little girl waving there, and we've changed now. We've gone to one more in the middle of Los Cristianos, but yeah. Every morning I have my little coffee up there. Rincon del Pan is a bit of a chain. They're really good. Yeah, great vibes down here at the harbour. I'm on the way, Lintburn. I'm on the way. I just had to park up there. Just been to the airport. I'm on route. So if you're just tuning in, bear with me. Ten more minutes, we'll be there. But I like to have a little walk through the back streets of Los Cristiano. Since I'm walking this way anyway, I might as well be on live so you can uh, see a little bit of it. Uh, evening. Uh, picture needs refreshing. Okie dokie. Hope to help. We always go through a little bit of a little bit of a dead spot there. Hopefully that's sorted, but we are all overcast today, which normally affects our signal a little bit. Hopefully that's improved it. Coming out from Glasgow a week tomorrow. Shout out to Tr uh, Trish and the family. Loving the live stream. Thank you very much. Certainly am. I said this yesterday and I'll say it again from what I've seen today. Certainly seeing a lot more numbers now. A lot more new arrivals. Everyone I'm speaking to in the bar. Oh, we arrived yesterday. We've just arrived, just arrived. Really can feel that change now. Really starting to pick up in the email inquiries as well for the cars, the reservations. Everything's jumped back up again. Now that Easter's out the way, all those crazy flight prices are gone. We'll be in town in no time. Taking a bit of a shorter route here through town. We'll get us right to where we need to be quite quickly. Thanks for stopping, mate. <laughs> hey, you got to be careful on these crossings. Um, I've written you a message. What on, Susan? I've got so many messages, I can't reply to them all, unfortunately. Uh, I do struggle to get back to all the messages. I do my best, but... Normally I try and answer any questions on here on the streams and that way if anyone's got a similar question uh, they've got the answers, I do my best to answer them on here. A lot more younger ones, definitely a lot more younger ones round and about. But a lot more couples and stuff as well. It's just great to see. We've got something else going on on the stage here. Something else coming up. Yeah, I'm quite excited with this little bit of a beer festival. As I said, something a little bit different. I'd like to see something like this every month. Something different popping up. Bit of this, bit of that keeps it, keeps it exciting. And it's quite exciting for the residents as well. For us, obviously, everything is quite a bit of a novelty. But for the residents, we see this every single day, over and over. But I know a load of residents who've popped down to this because something a little bit... A little bit different for us all. So I do like to see it. Uh, this was the other coffee shop that we were coming to for quite a while. Uh, I've, been, I've been all over Lost Chris for the last few weeks, uh, last few months really. Uh, this one we were coming to for quite a while, the Panaria. Uh, I got a little bit fed up with the, the coffee in there. I ended up getting a bit bored. It's lovely, it's lovely coffee, lovely pastries and that, but. I, when you go every day, you end up getting a little fed up, so we, we keep mixing it up. We'll probably come back to this in a few weeks. But I have to keep trying to mix it up.
Uh, evening Dawn and Melvin, uh, it looks busy. Uh, I've had a, a bit of a wet afternoon, yeah, it was raining on the way to the airport for me. Uh, apologies about the signal guys, it's a bit overcast in Tenerife, which uh, normally knocks out our signal a little bit. So apologies, not much I can do with that I'm afraid. Uh, so we actually had, if anyone tuned into my stream last night, my little bit of a rant. Uh, we actually had four people book trips during that stream. Believe it or not, four people. I, I finished the stream to four emails. Uh, so this wall here, if you're ever wondering, and why the flowers are here, this was where the uh, building collapsed, the apartment block collapsed. Uh, it was around 10 years ago, maybe a bit longer. So yeah, that is where the, uh, the building collapsed. That's why you have that wall, and we've got that gorgeous new mural being painted, which is absolutely stunning. So if you're wondering why that is, hey, there was a building collapse there. You might have seen it on the news quite a while ago. So yeah, four people booked during that stream, absolutely amazing. So the first person who emailed me got the free car and uh, the others I did offer them a hefty discount on. Because I did say the first person who booked would get a free car off me. And four people did it, love it, four people. So this is where I'm coming at the moment. The Rincondel pan here um, of the morning time. It's really nice. It's just chilled out here. The, the normally there's at eight in the morning. There's normally the councillor out washing the streets and stuff. It's dead chilled. Nice relaxing way to start the day. So uh, this is where I come from a local coffee every morning. At the moment, no doubt it'll change again soon. Right, let's get ourselves through town, down onto the beachfront then, check out some of these different beers. And I was reading on Facebook that a lot of them uh, are not particularly cheap, but I think they would be cheap compared to the UK. But uh, people are comparing them to like a Euro beachfront pint down the road and saying that 4 95 is expensive. Uh, but as uh, someone rightly pointed out... Hi, oh, yeah, you okay? Oh, there you go. You all right? <laughs> have a good day you okay there you go two people saying hello all the both at the same time what was i saying uh, so yeah 4.95 i think they are for a small one for a small one of these beers but um as it was rightly pointed out i believe i think it was the owners of the vault that pointed it out um you can't compare it to a a one euro pint because you've got import duties the cost of importing all this beer, the rent on the stalls, all of that happening. So people are going, oh, 4 95 for a half, that's a rip-off, but it's not a rip-off. It's, it's probably about what, it, what the cost would be to make a bit of profit for them. They'll have had to pay the council to rent the tent and import the beer and everything. So you can't really compare these prices to the one, you've got to remember the one euro pint places are lost leaders. They're not making money on that. They're doing it to get you in, to try and get you to have food and stuff. So you can't compare the bar prices and the beer prices in Tenerife to those one euro uh, beer places. Right, here we go then. I can hear the music already. Plenty of people enjoying some uh, early dinner here in town. Uh, Laura's currently, I think she's just popped off for dinner in, be in between work. Oh, we've got a bit of YMCA. I'll probably get a music strike, but let's go for it. I want for a bit of the atmosphere here. I need a bit of a lift. Uh, a bit of YMCA will do me. So uh, we'll just go with it with the music on this one, everyone. We're going to roll with it. It's going to be unavoidable, but the atmosphere looks, uh, looks awesome. Let's have a good look at this. 750 now joining us do please hit the thumbs up button uh, subscribe if you're new we're well on the way to 80,000 subscribers 80,000 mental uh, so do hit the subscribe it's uh, completely free oh yes yeah, good vibe this in it i'm liking it i'm liking it we came down a little bit later on where it has a little bit more of an atmosphere going on see i love this look at the buzz this is what we need every single month something different like this all the locals are down. I can see a lot of local people here. We've got a food truck going on. 
nice little picture stand. Look at it. Love it. Ambulance on duty as well. Different pools to lose. We've got all kinds going on. Let's have a little look what's happening in this food truck then. Security there as well everywhere. So what we've got in here. So different uh, bits of uh, tapas, that looks a bit like burgers, hot dogs as well. Yeah, maybe hamburgers, hot dogs, chicken burgers as well. Ooh, but all different crisps and stuff. Ooh, interesting. I might get myself a little hot dog or something in a little bit. Uh, there's your little picture stand there. Got a selfie stand going on. I think this is great. This is something a little bit different. Until 11 o'clock tonight, one day only. Love to see something a little bit more often. Okay, all the nice little benches and stuff out here. So we've got a big Heineken stand here as well. We'll try back to try and try some stuff. Oh, these cakes. Different bits of tapas going on. Well, it's certainly busier than I thought it was going to be. We've got more tapas. Heineken stands here, some of these different beers then, is it? Uh, oh, Heineken. Oh, <laughs> music striking, coming. <laughs> oh, well, here you go, more tapas. I'm going to try a little bit of tapas. Plenty going on. Well, it's a lot bigger and a lot more uh, busy than I thought it was going to be. There you go, even more different tapas here as well. So this is the uh, this is the Iberico ham, where it's like uh, smoked cured ham that they slice off the leg. And they're all the staff tech friendly as well, I like that. Got a bit of sardines on the bread there, croquettes, this is all your tapas now. More tapas going on, I think. A lot more food than I thought as well. El Ayuntamiento de Arona, Global Canarias. Yeah, yeah. Good point, Saluditos cordiales para todo el personal de barra, para todos nuestros expositores de comida, para el pedazo de sonido de Soul Crash. Para todo nuestro personal de seguridad, protección civil, policía local, IRPES 2024, esas manos arriba. Okay. Love it. What an atmosphere. Hey, this is me when the beer hits. That's literally me after one beer, that. That is me. Me after one the order. <laughs> oh, boy. What a little atmosphere. Oh, Definitely will, Sean. Definitely will, but we'll go with it. We'll go with it. I'd rather show what was going on. We're going to try a little beer or something in a minute. Well, what a vibe. I've come away just so I can speak to you for a minute. It's quite loud in there. But uh, what an atmosphere. You've got police over there, again, another ambulance on the end, so loads of security and protection going on. Yeah, got some good tunes as well going on, haven't they? Yeah, very busy, love it. And I'd love to see more of this going on. I'm going to try and get a little beer somewhere if I can. We'll give one of them a try. Got to be done 
But yeah, we'll accept the music strike on this one, and we'll uh, we'll roll with it. Hopefully, I'm going to strike just to just to claim. But yeah, I'm going to venture back in. It's very loud, so I don't know whether you can even hear me or not. But uh, a few people saying hello. It's a uh, great atmosphere, though, isn't it? And this is what I like about it. Very, very secure. Police everywhere. Security everywhere. But you do have to still be very careful with obviously pickpockets and stuff with the crowds. But look how many local people are here, though. Full of locals. So all these locals, they're now up at the protests, aren't they? They're down here having a blast. Mixing in with the tourists, loving life. So, I think I'm going to queue up here, try and get a drink, see what I can do, I can try one of these beers. Yeah, what a great little atmosphere. Hey, forget the process, this is the place to be, isn't it? What a great little vibe. Right, so I'm going to try, I think, I'm not getting a Heineken, I'm not big on Heineken, I'm going to get one of these things, Ella Grilla I think it is. Yeah, let me know in the comments, would you love to see more of these going on? Great atmosphere. Another one. There you go. Have a little look at all this tapas then. Does any of it take your fancy? Ah, see, look, there you go. I love it. You okay? You okay? Good fun though, isn't it? Good little atmosphere. I'm loving it. Have you had any beers? Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Lovely to see you. I'll catch you again. Thank you. There you go. Right, I wonder if I have any more look at this one here. Let's see what we can do. Jump in the queue, see if we can get up in here. Just want to try one of these. If we can. 
everyone so give me a second to gather me thoughts okay so this was this is the C Aguila Aguila I think made by Dorado I think uh, this was uh, 350 but if I keep the glass and take the glass back I get a euro off on the next one so the next one's 250 it's a half so 350 for a half if I get another one, it's only 250 if I take the glass back. So there you go. Good little vibe though, isn't it? Well, that's nice that. Very Dorado-ish. Very Dorado-ish that. I did see as well. I did another tune. Um, they did have the uh, Cruise Campo bottles of a special. Cruise Campo was special. That looked nice. But I'm not here to get hammered. I'm here to bring the vibes. I ain't gonna be getting rotten. But I'm gonna take it back into the mix now in a minute. Let's uh, we'll head back in. Can you see anyone not smiling in here? Everyone is living life. I think this is really good. I want to see more of this once a month. So let me know, is this your sort of thing? Would you come down for this? Let me know. Thank you. 
down very nicely by the way very nice that um, very Dorada-ish I do love Dorada Dorada is the local beer over here and uh, that's what we serve in the bar on draft Dorada as well as Corona but yeah what a little vibe gorgeous and sunny down here on the beach music dancing and uh, loads of security and police around and no one acting a fool in there as of yet everyone's just vibing and having a great time so yeah, let me know, do you want me to stick around? Do you want me to just go back and punk ourselves in front of the stage? Or do you want me to move around? Or I'm just enjoying being in amongst the atmosphere. If you're all, I wish you were all here now with me. I've got 881 watching live. Thank you very much. Do please hit the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. I do live here in Los Cristianos, so I often bring you different videos like this. Just have a little look down on the beach. What's happening on the beach then? It's a shame it's only on for one day. Should have done it for the whole weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Really good. So they're playing the music with a DJ, but they've also got the band on the stage who are playing the, the instruments along to the music. Quite a good way of doing it. I've got a bit more Veronica's style now. Oh, really, really good atmosphere. Yeah, let me know. Would you be down here enjoying it? So yeah, what a contrast, you know if you watch the news and then you tuned into this. <laughs> 
So this is the atmosphere in Los Cristianos on the protest day. Awesome. It's on until 11 p.m. So it's on all night long. Got people playing beach volleyball, everyone down on the beach having a swim and I'd love to see this more often. And if you did it more often, you get a few more tourists involved as well. People would know it was on. You get more tourists down. So yeah, it's full of locals. I'm dressed pretty much as a tourist. I mean, you can't get more tourist looking than me with my wacky shirts on with the camera. And Everyone's been really friendly with me walking through. There is tourists mixed in there. I've seen a few subscribers. Someone with our mug as well. That was amazing. Uh, we've sold 15 mugs already. Everyone's loving the mugs. So thank you very much to anyone who's bought one. But say, uh, yeah, those buddies' mugs are flying out. So yeah, if you're in Tenerife today, you fancy a little bit of this. It's on until 11 o'clock. Get yourself down, Los Cristiano Speech Fund. This will be on until 11 p.m. bite sweet we can have in that little stand there's more of your tapas if you missed it earlier different meats and sausages and stuff proper tapas that
Sapas coming on. Oh, hey. Chocolate muffin. Different cakes as well. Oh, nice. So, yeah, if you sit on the edge, it's a little bit quieter. There's our lovely hike ranger. I don't know whether to try and get something from this little food stand here. This little food van. I get a little hot dog or something. What do you think, everyone? Those burgers look amazing, don't they? Look at them. They look nice, don't they? Look at them. They look good, don't they? I might get myself a little hot dog. See them on there. Well, they certainly know how to throw a party, don't they? 800 tuned in. Thank you very much. I'm going to grab a little hot dog or something, see if we can sit down here for a minute and uh, have a little chat with you all. Oh, they've got the grated cheese and a little bit of bacon to go on it as well. No way. No way. It might have to be done. It might have to be done here. They look good, don't they? I'm thinking a hot dog rather than a burger, I think. Yeah, they do look good. The beer went down very nicely, that was lovely, that. Very nice, that uh, Aguila. Aguila, however you say it. Very nice, that. Uh, can I get a, um, the hot dog? Hot dog? With just um, chips. chips and bacon. Onion. Okay, just chips. Hot dog with chips and ketchup. Ketchup? Yeah, please. Go. Perfect. I've got some little bits of chips on it. Let's give it a whirl. See what happens. Look at that chicken burger though. It looks amazing. They look really good. Get tortilla chips with the uh, burger. Get you. A little bit, yeah. That's it. Perfect. No? That's a bit. Four euros. go. That's fine. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. okay, so here we go. Hot dog secured. There you go. They made a little fuss when I gave them a tip there as well, which is nice. It's a nice way of doing it. Right, where can I sit and eat my hot dog now? There's a question. Hot dog does look amazing. You just check I've got everything, guys. Yeah. Got everything. Where am I going to sit and eat this, though? This is going to be fun. Right. Look at it. Looks good though, doesn't it? Right up my street. Right. Wow, look at that dog. It's massive. Look at him. He's amazing. The colour of Rio, he looks awesome. How cool is he? He's huge. He's got legs as long as mine. Massive. I've got, I don't know where I'm going to eat this hot dog, everyone. I'm in trouble here. I've got a camera to balance. I've got to sit you down somewhere. How am I going to do this? Ah, oh, well, let's just go down and get on the beach. Let's go for it. Let's do it. So, welcome along, everyone. If you just joined us, we're in Los Cristianos in South Tenerife. Uh, we're down for the beer festival here, where the atmosphere is awesome. I've just put myself up a lovely looking hot dog, which was four euros. And uh, looks really good actually. These little crispy chip things on them. I'm gonna plonk myself on a sunbed. Let's go for it. Fred Olsen just coming in there as well. That was a massive dog, that was. Whoa. Right, okay. Well, I've never done a live stream like this before. <laughs> Welcome to Los Cristianos Beach then, everyone. Never done it like this before. Oh, dogs are not easy to eat either, are they? things I do it looks incredible though look at that looks amazing it's nice they're like really thin little crisps on top which make it a nice texture with the soft hot dog amazing live as always thank you very much 
I hope you have enjoyed tuning in. Give you a little view of that ferry as a munch away. Yeah, thank you very much for joining me. A little bit of a bonus one. I was meant to be going to San Juan today, but I'm glad I came down now. Just shows you, if you see any events on like this, it's worth popping down just to see. Because usually, it's a really good little atmosphere. Really good fun. Uh, what atmosphere? Yeah, uh, what a lot of home. Just done my airport run, pop down, nice little party vibe down here, beach volleyball going on. So the band are now full on kicked in, singing, playing. I think during their break they play a bit of music and now they're uh, full on live. No, thank you very much for joining me. I think it started about 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, I think. I'm just going to munch this hot dog, everyone. And then I'll be right back with you. It is absolutely gorgeous, by the way. I made the right decision. Great live, totally different. Once again, content show on the island. There we go. Thank you very much. If you have enjoyed it so far, all I ask is you give me the little, hit the little like button underneath the video. And uh, do make sure you uh, hit the subscribe as well. But yeah, much appreciated. Thank you very much. Well, uh, much appreciated for joining. Uh, don't forget to follow me on TikTok as well. I'm always posting little TikToks, so make sure you do follow me on TikTok, the Night Strider one. How good is this? They're playing catch, but they're playing with like one of those um like a Velcro board, so you throw it and then obviously just put your palm out and it, it sticks to the pad. That's really fun. That looks really good. You probably get that on Amazon. That's good fun, that. It's just a simple game of catch, but it looks quite fun. Looks quite fun to me, that. That hot dog, by the way, was one of the nicest hot dogs I've ever had. I'm not even just saying that. Those little crisps on the top just made it. I've absolutely demolished it. It was stunning. Right, we're on the move again. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you a little bit more of this and then we're going to take a walk down through Los Cristianos. I'm going to take my rubbish with me of course. Um, we're going to take a walk down through Los Cristianos, uh, down those ways and we'll see what else is happening, see how busy the bars and restaurants are in general. When I made up, I came down. I could have gone all the way up to the north and covered other things and stuff, but I couldn't with work anyway. And uh, this is the real vibe. Everyone goes mad, by the way, when I say the word vibe, so I'm saying it loads now. <laughs> As it's stuck in my head, I can't stop saying it. Those little dogs around as well, loving life. I'm just put this stuff in the bin. In the recycling. Okay, done. Right, my hands are free again. I can get back to it. 
So if you do come to anything like this, do of course watch your pockets, do be very careful uh, with pickpockets and stuff around. But as you can see in general, loads of police around, loads of security, private security, and uh, ambulances and stuff around as well. So everyone here on hand, if there was any trouble or anything like that. No, nope, love it. We've got to do one of these every month. One of these every month. Go down a storm. Look how many locals are here because, like I said, they're loving it. It's something different. It's something new for them. You got another security there watching everything. You do feel very safe in here. Uh, current temperature is about 24 degrees. 24, very warm. I'm uh, sweating cobs here. enjoyed that do please hit the thumbs up if you are new make sure you do subscribe that was really good fun I'd love to see more of that love to see a lot more of that in happening in Lost Chris so if you wonder where we are you just tuned in we're in Lost Christy Arnos is where we are at the moment we're now sort of heading into the back streets a little bit got some of these other really popular restaurants Dal Hollander, really popular. Uh, the Ivy, which has been here for years. Does all that like, English food and stuff. That's really good. I 
And then just a bit further down, you've got Yim Siam as well, which is all the Thai food. So don't forget to come into some of these back streets because there are loads of little local restaurants and stuff that you wouldn't know about. Look at all these bears. That's really fun, isn't it? There's a bear on every table. That's really fun. Makes the tables look quite inviting and fun. Different way of doing it. So you've got Yim Siam there. You've got a nice Italian restaurant next door. There's a real atmosphere around here tonight. This is unique to Los Cristianos as well, this sort of atmosphere. You don't really get this in Las Americas. You don't really get it in Costa Rica either. This sort of hybrid between tourists, locals, the traditional buildings, the old school restaurants. You won't get an atmosphere like this in Las Americas lot in and Costa Rica or Fania Bay. <laughs> Need a festival day at Buddy's when Carvey's in town. Just landed and almost at Los Cristiano, so we'll be heading to Buddy's soon. Fantastically, I'll be in a little bit later on. Laura's in there as well, of course. And we've got uh, Holly and Logan on tonight as well. So, the three girls will be there waiting to look after you, give you a lovely cocktail. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to water all merch. It's gone down a storm, which I'm really pleased with. Everyone loving those mugs. There you go, we've got a little ice cream shop here. Oh. Some different ice cream here. Uh, give my love to Laura. I uh, have a business proposal for your dad. Great podcast. Oh, boy, my dad on a podcast. Jeez. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I think you'd end up tuning out after half an hour with all the waffling going on. Mariposa. Some of these, I think a lot of these restaurants will go busy a little bit later on. People will come out from that little um, beer fest and come up and have meals. The, don't forget the Spanish and the Canarians, they eat a lot later. 9, 10 p.m. is the norm for them. Sometimes even later, half 10, 11. So at the weekends, you'll see the restaurants busier a little bit later on. Because at the locals, they do eat late how they like to do it 950 tuned in now thank you very much everyone happy saturday and uh, thank you for joining me make sure you give me a follow make sure you give me a su subscribe a like and a follow on tiktok as well posting one to two videos a day on tiktok at the moment so it's worth giving me a follow it's all completely free to enjoy this one's busy isn't it old bugado oh yeah very busy in that one. Full inside as well. Wow. I don't know if any of you have noticed as well, all these stairs painted all the way up with different messages on going through town. Yeah, real nice local atmosphere, especially on the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, Friday. All the locals are out. It's a real nice feel. You've got a service going on in the church at the moment. Actually, I'm not going to disturb that, but well, there you go. You've got the church service currently uh, going on. In there, so what I mean, real local feel to it. You don't get any of this in Las, Christ in Las Americas, uh, Costa Rica. That's not me saying I don't like those areas. It's just you're not going to get that same local feel at the weekend. Well, I enjoyed that, certainly enjoyed that. I hope you all did as well. Let's hope uh, they will claim the music, but it's whether they give me a strike and make me remove the video or not. Hopefully they don't. Let's have a quick look at some property prices while we're here. If you want a car park in space in Los Cristianos, it's going to cost you 14 grand. Uh, if you want an apartment in Comodoro, 
in Los Cristianos. Nice views though, as you can see. Uh, 278,000 for a studio. Uh, that's for a studio apartment. 278,000 on top of that. You've got about 10% in fees and taxes. Uh, don't forget, 227 for a one bedroom on uh, Royal Palm there. That's one where you can rent them out to tourists legally. Fully legal. Uh, 175 for a studio on Port Royal to the backside of Los Cristianos. It's just fun to always have a little look, isn't it? Uh, El Mirador, private residential complex, 275 for a one bedroom. So you will see it does always say residential complex or touristic complex. Uh, if I show you the difference, if there's another Royal Palm one where it is a touristic complex, um, I think it just doesn't specify doesn't say touristic but I think when they're residential it'll say residential on there so these ones you can legally rent out to tourists while you're not here a uh, Victoria Court as well the same fully legal there you go Thought that was a little bit of interest for you show you a few of the old property prices great content as well keep it up thank you very much make sure you subscribe we're well on the way to 80,000 can you believe it 80,000 subscribers crazy crazy thank you all very very much thanks for joining me i hope you're all having a fantastic weekend relax do what makes you feel good do your thing and if you've been working like me just look forward to those nice holidays if you enjoy your work it doesn't feel too bad does it i enjoy doing the cars so yeah I, uh, I don't dislike it if that makes sense my favourite sweet shop, look how busy it is in there. Some of the sweets in there are incredible. They do some amazing sweets. But they, I think the lights are going to flash and stuff if I show you them. They do amazing sweets in there. That's the best sweet shop in Los Cristianos, that one. This one popular for the seafood in there. Well, there we go. That was a lovely little live stream. I enjoyed that. Really good atmosphere. Hey, we love your content, we come over twice uh, twice a year, so your content always helps us. Thank you very much. If you're thinking of coming over to Tenerife, get it booked. If you've already got it booked, get excited. Well, I'm going to tune out in a second. I'm going to film a quick uh, clip for TikTok before I then head off. I have got one more airport run to do today. Uh, on the bus, but I'm, I'm going to wait a little bit, let the bus calm down. It was I can't, I can't do another bus ride like the one earlier. That was not pleasant, that one earlier. It was absolutely rammed. And what's great as well is, even if, even, the, even if the people are not buying the food and the drinks from the beer festival itself, all the restaurants and stuff are busy and like the little cafes are busy where people are enjoying other things they don't just having the beer and the the food in the beer fest though all the bars and restaurants and stuff around it and the cafes around it are nice and busy as well people are soaking in the atmosphere well there we go i'm going to finish off with a nice little view uh, one thing i'm going to point out here um i'm going to show you just now we have got another migrant boat just out there I can see coming in so no one on here I think they must have already emptied emptied it out but there is another kayak who there we showed on the live stream one of them getting craned out there's another one just here that they've towed in you see them in the hazmat suits and everything on there so that'll be craned out again probably tomorrow morning they'll crane that out hopefully everyone was all right I presume it'll have been um, they usually get everyone off as soon as they can and then dealing with the boat is sort of the after the after thing so they'll just be dealing with this valley the harbour's quiet and that so they've towed it in and then it'll uh, it will get docked up to here this will get docked up to here and then a big crane will take the uh, kayak out and it'll go off and uh, normally tow them up to santa cruz area i think and destroy them or whatever they do with them but yeah another uh, there's another kayak that's what they come over in Kayakus, they call them. 
Yeah, you can see the uh, Coast Guard has towed it in. Well, there we go. What a stream. I enjoyed that. Thank you very much. I enjoy them all, but, you know, I liked the extra because it was something different. I like different. Well, thank you very much for joining me. Do please hit the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Make sure you join the Night Strider Terry fan group on Facebook. Uh, we've got TikTok as well, the Night Strider one. A uh, big thank you to all the mods as well. Uh, I sometimes forget to thank them, so a uh, big thank you to all the moderators. Uh, keeping our channel nice and friendly and uh, keeping the, uh, the good vibes. There you go, I said it again. Uh, well, no, thank you very much. If you're, uh, if you're in Tenerife, if you're in Tenerife today, come down and check it out in Los Cristianos. It's really good. But uh, thank you very much and uh, have a great weekend. Stride on. Bye, guys.